the Kevcon Maiden. Named after Kevin Meenahan. And he's got a horse in here looking to win his race today. That's a two-mile maiden. It's going to be a very keenly contested affair. We've got Audacious up the top for Tam King. Firth of fourth. Douglas Warren for Hollywood Hinton. Easy to say. Miller's mate for Kevin looking to win it for him. Phillipstown Sphinx. Record plant Gobble Wonka. We are invincible. Bound and gagged. Don't know what's going on there. Grey Lamy Worthy. Bowl and Soggy. Middleton Sunrise. Nuke Hoos. Uh, Emerald Star, The Extreme, Call It A Hunch, and Amos Pass for Darren Thompson. And they're racing at Worcester. Straight away, we're into the action. And they're all over safely. Easy to say as our early leader with Middleton Sunrise, Audacious. Quite spread out in the early part of this race. The runners have all got a lot of room, so some good siders here. Uh, Gray's horse just jumped that one there slowly and he's now at, at the tail. But up front, Middleton Sunrise and easy to say as they come on down towards the winning post. Then we've got Firth of Fourth and Douglas Warren, Bowl and Soggy, Audacious down on the front, fence with uh, Grey Lamy Worthy. Call it a hunch is in the centre of the track in the yellow and out wider there is Bowl and Soggy and uh, Darren's horse, Phillipstown Sphinx, is probably the widest runner. So take the left hander out of the straight. And it's Middleton Sunrise. From easy to say. Then we've got uh, Firth of Fourth and Douglas Warren, Audacious. Grey Worthy, Hall of a Hunch. Back down on the fence. In the black, red and gold. Well, one's fallen there and it's my horse, Grey Lamy Worthy. Mm, great. Uh, Nuke Hoos is the black, red and gold. And at the tail is Emerald Star, who crashed his way through that jump. Down at the seven furlong pole and Audacious has taken the lead here. Oh, another one's down there, it's um, Nuke Hoos. For Moliets, bad luck, mate. And we lost Gobble Wonka as well somewhere. Maybe that jump. Up and over the next one they go. And Audacious is our leader. But now making a challenge is Middleton Sunrise. Then we've got Amos Pass, Firth of Fourth, Douglas Warren, the, the Extreme, Bowl and Soggy. Then easy to say, Record Plant, Miller's Mate. Bound and gag, we are invincible, call it a hunch, Phillipstown Sphinx, and out of the screen is Emerald Star. At the three and a half, and over the tenth they go, and a couple of slow jumps there, but Douglas Warren, full of running with Amos Pass. They both jump that one fast, another one's down, it's easy to say, is out of the race, bad luck to the trainer. But it's Amos Pass and Douglas Warren. Douglas Warren jumped it a bit better and takes the lead again from Amos Pass. Up and over the last they go. The first two jumped it together. But it's Douglas Warren in front at the furlong by two now to Amos Pass. It's opening up the gap here. Running on nicely is Firth of Fourth. He's charging home late. So too Audacious with a second win. They come on down to the line and Douglas Warren just gets there from Audacious and Amos Pass. Interesting race. And my namesake, Douglas Warren has won for Hollywood Hinton. Have a rum on me, Hollywood. Audacious is second for Audacious is second for I think it's Tam King. That's correct. And Firth of fourth, Carl Aragonte is third. Fourth was Amos Pass. Darren Thompson it was a nice run. Paul Rhodes, we are invincible. Ran fifth. <laughs>